Do you think that the the new media, the electronic age, this new technology, um, including the internet, um, is making the uh, public relations industry, the public relations practice, more or less ethical? Well, first of all, there is no public relations process. If it's what does it do in the communications or communicators? Uh, no, I don't think it's making it more. Uh, Walter Riston, who was a uh, highly regarded head of uh, City Corp, now deceased, once told me, he said, your ethics come from your family. You don't hire them and find them later. So, if you're going to operate unethically, you're going to do it. And if you operate ethically, no matter what the venue is, you're going to be. That's why I don't, I'm not particularly enamored of ethical guidelines. It doesn't, um, it's a lot of showmanship. And the same thing applies to corporate social responsibility. I think companies, have an innate responsibility to their community, right. employees, and so on and so forth. And because they do have the leverage of their size and money, they should do um, more than just make successful products. But they should really extend their, their uh, social responsibilities and areas they're responsible for or in, in disciplines that relate to them and not others. You know, if all the CEOs ever did it, what all the social activists asked them to do, there'd be no social activists. They live off the green mail from companies. They're not satisfied. Uh, it's amazing to me how many companies pay for their own troubles. They underwrite seminars and lectures and other things who, for people who are dedicated anti-capitalists. And it doesn't take rocket science to find out who these people are and what they stand for and do you agree or don't you agree. And if you don't agree and if they're truly uh, negativists and so forth, you have no right to support them. I would wonder what would happen if you asked individual shareholders, not the institutions, the individual shareholders, would you give 50 cents a share or a dollar a share to underwrite such and such a program? I bet you'd get a big no. You don't, you put your money or you buy company stock for only one reason. You want to get, you think and you hope that the the investment will appreciate and you'll get dividends. That is why you're doing it. Otherwise, you have no reason. You're not going to do it because of that company is green. It doesn't mean anything to you if your investment withers. Now, if you're satisfied with the financial results and the company is... Uh, uh, actively engaged in, in worthwhile activities, that's fine, and you can be proud of having money in that company. But it's not why you do it initially. And I think boards, particularly boards and CEOs, are trying to buy peace. And I can understand why they want to, but uh, somebody's got to take a stand someplace on, on some of these things. I'm writing a piece for the next newsletter because uh, I've been reading stories about carbon emissions and so on. You tell me who's going to buy stock in a company because the carbon emissions are point something what? I mean, I don't understand it. Who, who does? Even the people doing it don't understand it. I don't think. <laughs>